Computing the length of the string in an object oriented programming language like Java is different when compared to computing the length in a language like C. In fact, there are a couple of challenges which we need to tackle if we really have to compute the length in Java. What those challenges are and how to tackle, let's explore. Strings in Java are not treated as an array of characters. In fact, in one of my previous episodes, I have conveyed that strings in Java happens to be an object like this. In fact, an object is something which would have within itself both the data as well as the associated methods. What I have to be doing in this episode is to compute the length of the data ABC10. If I have to do it in Java, certainly I face two challenges. Firstly, Java as a programming language doesn't permit me to directly access the data. Well, when the direct access is not there, then how would I be able to count the number of characters present in the data? And the second challenge is that as you can see, the data is not ending with a null character. Well, if the data is not ending with a null character, then how would I know where the data ends and when I have to stop my counting? Anyway, for both these challenges, I'll give you the solution. I can tackle my challenges by making use of the inbuilt methods. In fact, there is an inbuilt method called concat. Using this concat, I can certainly attach a null to the end of my data ABC tech. Anyway, if I will have to call the concat, I will have to make use of my reference X. In fact, the syntax in Java is that whenever I have to call the inbuilt methods, I will have to tell the reference name dot the method name. In this case, in case I tell x dot concat of null, then obviously the inbuilt method concat is going to help me to attach null towards the end of the data like this. Hence, one of my challenges is solved. Another issue was that as a programmer, I don't have direct access to the data. Well, this problem would always be there as long as the data exists within the object. So I as a programmer intelligently would try to extract a copy of the data outside the object and put it into a character array like this. Well, once the data gets into the character array, nobody can prevent me from accessing the individual characters present in the array. But how do I get this done? Don't worry, we have an inbuilt method to do this activity for us. And that method is the two char array method. Provided I call it by saying x dot two char array, this activity gets completed for me. So I've been successful in tackling both of my challenges. Now let's go ahead and write the complete program. Let me begin by creating a string ABC tech. In Java, I would obviously not store it in an array of characters. Rather, I would be treating it as a string object. And you all know that at the end of this data, we wouldn't be having a null. So it is my responsibility to attach a null at the end of ABC tech and it can be done like this. And not just that, I would also like to extract a copy of this data and put it into another character array called Y and this statement does it for us and now that my data is there in a character array called y it is certainly easy for me to compute the length in fact i would strongly recommend my viewers to watch the previous episode in which i have explained the logic of computing the length of the data present in the character array nevertheless i will have to create two variables called count and i and both of which I would be initializing it to zero. And then in a while loop, I keep verifying if y of i is not equal to null and as long it's not equal to null, I keep incrementing the count as well as i and once all that is done, I am going to print the count value. The complete program looks like this and when I'll execute, this is the output. Hope the logic of computing the length of the string in Java is completely clear. If you'll ask me, is there a simpler approach to compute the length of the string? Yes. In just two lines of code, I can compute the length of the string in Java. 
in the first line i am going to create the string object and in the second line i can make use of an inbuilt method called length using which i can compute the length when i'll execute the program this is the output so as you can see there is an inbuilt method called as length using which i can compute the length of the string directly but in the placement interviews you will be asked precisely to not make use of the length inbuilt method and still compute the length of the string and that's the reason why i have explained to you the previous method continue watching this video series and by the end of this series you would be a much better programmer on strings see you in the next video